On this spot, we're having a look at a brand new box from the folks over at NerdBlock Jr. This is NerdBlock Jr. for boys from March 2017. Yes, there is wrap on this. I decided with all the videos that we've had to look at for the NerdBlock Jr., and I'm always talking about the fact that the wrap was taken off, I would show you guys how it looks when you get it in the mail. You can see that they shrink wrap the box very nicely. I like this too because it keeps the box pristine. You don't have labels slapped all over it. Sure, there's a label on the underside, but it's on the wrap. Very nice, very nice and pristine. Not that pristine means much to me because I'm gonna be opening the box nonetheless, but I do like the fact that it looks nice and clean. Care has been made. For that reason and that reason alone, I'm gonna also use my knife, Hank. Normally I wouldn't have to because the box doesn't have a seal on it, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Hot knife through butter and let's take the wrap off. Yes, I probably could have just left that part completely off. Oh, actually the label is on the underside. Call me a liar. But I decided to actually keep the wrap on for this review, so you guys can see how it looks uh, when you get it in the mail. And without further ado, burr, 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 further ado, we're gonna see what we get inside from Nerd Block Junior for boys. First things first is a T-shirt, a busy T-shirt or busy T-shirt, as some might say. Let's see what we got here. We've got Youth Camp. Uh, Angel Grove High School, Mighty since 1993. Of course, a nod to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I like the choices of yellow that they chose with the nice blue outline there. Some marshmallows. It looks like toasting marshmallows up at the top there as well. And the Zords. Of course, you can't have Power Rangers without the Zords. Very, very nice looking t-shirt. Also, I might add on blue. If the camera is not properly, there it is right there. It's blue. Quite blue, I might add. Inside as well, we get ourselves a series of dog tags. Transformers Generation dog tags featuring both Autobots and Decepticons. I'm sure I've posed this question to you before, but what faction symbol do you like the more? Not, not saying necessarily if you say Decepticon, I'm going to think, ooh, you're an evil person. No, what design do you like more? I've always been a big fan of the Decepticon logo more so than the Autobot, but let me know down below. We can discuss that. On the back, this comes to us officially from Hasbro. It's authentic. It's the real deal right there. Authentic Transformers merch. Inside as well, we get a Angry Birds poster collection with 40 removable posters. Let's gander through the posters to choose from. I like the artwork actually on these. There's a yellow bird with some pigs. Oh, there's the black bird, red bird. And we'll flip through these. And they are supposedly removable. Uh, what I like about these is that I was expecting it just to be essentially just like the game designs. And it's not necessarily game designs, it's, it's hand-drawn artwork. I like that. And we'll flip, 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 flip right through it so you guys can see what it would look like. Put these posters up in your game room. I guess you get essentially more posters than you could, well, I guess you could frame these but what I was also thinking too oh these are neat oh very cool I like these ones but what I was thinking too is you could separate these and make it just like a, like a collage on your wall of course asking your mom and dad for permission first you could put these on your wall and just have like a collage of different characters yeah I do like the uh, I like the designs on these we're almost near the end the end of the video? No, no, the end of this booklet. And the back page coming up shortly. And there we go. And this one looks a little bit more like something you would see with the game. Comes to us from Ravio Books and also Insight Editions. I like Insight Editions. Put that right over there. I guess while we're sticking to the theme of books, we've also got a book inside. Galactic Hot Dogs, Cosmo's Wiener Getaway. A mind-blowing action and big-time fun by Jeff Kingley, or Kingy, author of the best-selling Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What's this about? Along with his best bud, Big Humphrey, Cosmo spends his days cruising the cosmos, cooking up mega dogs the size of a Jeep, and fighting all kinds of crazy space enemies. When the half-evil Prince Dagger kidnaps her, uh, kidnaps herself, onto their ship. Oh, suddenly Cosmo and his crew are facing a whole armada of angry bad guys looking to take them down. 
all they need to do to protect the galaxy from the ultimate evil and sell a few hot dogs along the way. And I did not, I thought it actually was going to be a written book. Turns out it is an illustrated book. So this caters perfectly for those wanting to read and those like myself who also love photos and picture books. We'll have to give that a read later. And by we, I mean me. We'll give that a read later. Uh, inside as well, we've got a Pokeball, which looks like it's stuck. There we go. A Pokeball lanyard. This is a soft rubber. And you can see a really decked out lanyard cable, a little lanyard cord, with the interior saying, gotta catch them all. Really like that. I must say, I think I'm just think, thinking in the back of my mind right now, I must have a ton, maybe a hundred or so of these. Of course, through all the many different videos that I've done, uh, a lot of them do come with these little lanyards. So I think I've still got a box of them somewhere. I should see if I can find those. Maybe I'll do a video one day. I'll show you guys all my little lanyards. It's quite the collection, I must admit. I grabbed this initially and then I immediately put it away. Let's open these up. These are the erasers, uh, erasers from the emoji characters. I don't think I've seen these ones. I've seen the regular emojis, but I don't think they were erasers. And I know I shouldn't be doing this with my knife. This comes with some fun to play toys. We'll go ahead and cut this with Hank once again. See, Hank was very reliable in this video. Oh, and you get a couple of these. That's good. Oh, and you get a third one as well. I don't recognize the little woman here. I think it's a woman. It looks like she would... Looks like she's a dancer. I don't know, I'm just creating stories that probably don't exist. But there she is right there. In hand. Right there. The physical eraser. Not physically, because I guess you're looking through it through the video. I'm actually holding it. But you take my word for it. It's physical. And it's an eraser. We've got a heart. Oh, I have a heart. There you go. That's for you. And... <laughs> have a heart and also have a poo emoji right there and the are soft a little bit easier to gauge with the poo than it is with the heart heart has a little a little more density to it someone someone who have some philosopher philo uh, philosopher no philosophical is the word i'm looking for some philosophical uh theory behind that poo is softer than the heart now that's probably that doesn't sound as good and lastly, there's one other thing, of course, with the Nerd Block Junior for Boys or Girls, you get a Na National Geographic Kids. In this issue, we've got Real or Fake is the, is this lemur dancing? Is it? Do you know? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Plus animal fakeouts, tricky photos, and more. Let's flip through this. You have the National Geographic's Kids TV show. Which, honestly, I don't think I've seen yet. Uh, the real or fake. Then there's a section of what would happen. What would happen if you if you had gills like a fish? Well, that's an interesting question. Gills are special organs behind a fish's mouth. As water passes over them, they filter oxygen from the water directly into the fish's bloodstream. If you had gills, you could stay submerged for, a long, for as long as you wanted, breathing oxygen from the water. But unlike fish, humans have a high body temperature and we need much more energy and therefore more oxygen. Maintain this temperature... More oxygen requires bigger gills. In fact, your gills would have to stretch 16 feet. Remember that for those who wanted gills. 16 feet to take in all the oxygen you'll need. So breathe a sigh of relief that you don't have gills. That's the lesson to be learned in all this. Guinness Book World Records, Tower of Crates. Robot rides camel. I didn't realize that was a record-breaking event, but apparently is. And so many socks. Look at all these socks. There's 69,000 to be exact. 69,152 socks to create the longest line of socks. Socks. Uh, destination space. Extreme weirdness. Totally wild facts about animals. And fake lake. There's a lot to read in these little magazines. I say little. I mean, it's the size of a regular magazine. Some nice artwork there as well. On the back. Disney Nature, Born in China, narrated by John Krasinski, which I think he was from Office Space. And lastly, oh, I say lastly, it's not lastly yet. We've got some stickers. Galactic Hot Dog stickers. With some little word bubbles there that you can make use of. 
Now, lastly, we've got the March 2017 Nerd Block Junior for boys. Breakdown. I don't know why I did that to indicate breakdown. A Angry Birds poster book, Transformers 2-pack dog tags, uh, Galactic Hot Dogs book and now stickers, because we found the stickers in the bottom of the box. A t-shirt, Power Rangers. Uh, the Pokemon Lanyard, one of two. One has Charizard, one has the Pokeball. I'm actually glad we got the Pokeball. National Geographic Kids Magazine and Emoji Eraser Blind Bag. There's also a section here. Can you find all seven words? The Neuroblock Junior Word Search. I'll put that right there if you'd like to find them. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. Good. Uh, today, though, we were having a look at the March 2017. That would be this year. The March 2017 Nerdblock Junior for boys. Like what you guys see? You can certainly click that subscribe button as well and subscribe to this channel where you can see these videos and so much more. As always, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.